What's up, folks? It's Darian Terry coming back to you with another episode of Fightcast. And my oh my, so much has occurred. So much has occurred. Hmm. We have a new double champion. Oh, yes, we do. Henry Cejudo has actually went ahead and eclipsed to be the new double champion as of right now. And it looks so good. He looks so good out there, didn't he? Didn't he just look so good? I did not think that he was going to beat Marlon Moraes, and he did. And it, you know what? He did it in impressive fashion. That first round, his ankles were getting ate up. His ankles were getting ate up like by mosquitoes. I mean, there's... He was getting low kicks so many times that it looked just terrifying. It looked like if he got kicked wrong like five, six, seven more times, it was just going to change the whole outcome of the fight. And what's so crazy about it is that he was able to persevere. He was able to change the whole game plan and started attacking. Instead, the second round came with some massive twos, some massive twos. He really showed off his athleticism. And so I really did like how Henry said, who, do, who now has a torn rotator cuff, but how he basically was able to overcome and to able to persevere through adversity against Marlon Moraes. So another, a couple things are on the horizon here, folks. Uh, just talk about some, some news as of right now. I did not know this. Okay, obviously this is, this is really this grand spanking new. Kobe Cummington is going to be fighting Robbie Lawler on August the 3rd. It is going to be on ESPN. I am looking at us right now. And this is going to be splendid. Now, here's what's fucked up about the whole ordeal, though. He was supposed to be fighting Cameroon Usman. He was supposed to be fighting Marty from Nebraska, who he calls Marty Snoozman. Actually, that did not go down. And what's so weird about that is why he chose to accept this fight. After he has campaigned for months, he's probably campaigned, no, actually, he's campaigned for about, I want to say almost a year and a half, uh, basically, for this fight. Ever since he beat Damian Maya, he's campaigned for the belt, for the actual championship bout. Uh, Tyron Woodley, that, that ship sailed. Uh, basically, they gave the fight to Cameron Usman. So, obviously, after that, it should be Kobe. Okay, um, in March, after Cameroon uh, beat Tyron, it was just like, Dana was like, okay, yeah, he's going to be the next guy. Okay, you saw, we saw inside of the actual casino that Dana was in. He rushed Dana, Kobe Covington did, and just wanted to go, hey, he was still campaigning for that for that shot, for that title shot. Um, which is which is why it's so weird that he accepted this fight against Robbie Lawler, which is not the best move because here's the thing. If, if, if okay, if Robbie Lawler wins... What does that do to him? Robbie Lawler's got dusted off by Tyrone Woodley, and he got dusted off by, um, well, not really dusted off, but beat by Ben Askren, submitted. Both of him, both, both of them have finished Robbie Lawler. So if he loses to Robbie Lawler, what does that look for? How does that look for him? And his whole, okay, so basically this whole belt thing that he was doing the whole time is like for nothing. So it's just kind of weird to me that he even, I would just have kept it going. Just kept it going and, and just sell, you know, because if you campaign for that long, you have for damn near a year and a half. And uh, I really thought the Cameron Usman fight was going to happen. I know he's injured, but I just thought that they're going to line something up. And, and his whole, his whole, you know, nerd campaign on Instagram is about him fighting Cameron Usman in New York. So I thought it was going to go down. Didn't go down. Uh, but anyways, let's talk about some upcoming events. Obviously, we have John Jones about to go and fight again. Um, that's going to be the next pay, pay per view. There, there, for, for, next pay per view, view, view. Yes, Jones versus Santos. This is going to be a big matchup. Uh, I like Santos inside of this fight. Um, I, I mean, I like him fighting John Jones. I don't think he's going to win, but I like him. He's the most formidable opponent uh, that has fought John Jones in like forever. Like, like since Daniel Cormier fought him. Uh, he's the most formidable opponent that has fought him since then. Um, he has great knockout power. Uh, you know, we're talking about... We're, okay, so here's here's the thing. Diago Santos is fucking legit. He's 21-6 as of right now. And he has been knocking people out cold uh, recently. He's been, he's been finishing a lot of cats. Now, we're going to see exactly what happens in this fight. Um, I don't know... What's going to go down? Um, I'm just thinking John Jones is going to be able to outsmart him uh, like he outsmarts everyone. John Jones is physically and mentally gifted when it comes to fighting. It is ridiculous. His confidence level is ridiculous. And the things that he is able to do, he's capable of when he's out there are absolutely relentless. So I'm going to have him inside that fight on that same card. 
That's going to be coming up. Jones versus Santos. Going to have Amanda Nunes defending one of her two titles, her 135-pound belt against Holly Holmes. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm definitely going to go with Amanda Nunes on this. Holly Holm is kind of like the giant killer, but we'll, we'll, I'm definitely going to go with Amanda Nunes because Amanda Nunes would be dusting people off. It, it'd be it's devastating. Holly's really good at uh, making fights like uh, close against really good people and uh, trying to go ahead and get the uh, the, the judge from the from basically the edge from the judges. Uh, she, she, she's capable of doing that, uh, but I saw her against Chris Cyborg. Um, Chris, Chris Cyborg did not hold up against Amanda Nunes, her chin didn't, and I just think that she got hit wrong once and it fucked her up for the whole fight. But at the same time, though, Amanda Nunes, um, uh, well, first of all, Chris Cyborg has beat Holly Holmes, so what, that's what I'm getting at. Uh, I know MMA matchup sticks don't really work out, but at the same time, though, I don't know. Amanda Nunes, is, uh, she's a fierce, 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 fierce opponent. It's, it's ridiculous. So on that same card, which is so cool. We have Gamebred Jorge Masvidal versus Ben Askren. That you know that's going to be the match. That's basically a main event in itself. All right. There's so much that we can talk about with that one coming up. Um, I don't know who to choose right now. We got we got Ben Askren 19 and 0 versus a 33 and 13 Jorge Masvidal. Lots of fight experience going into this, and so you know it's going to be ridiculous. Luke Rockhold is fighting Jen Blachowicz on the same card. Luke. First fight at 205 pounds. We're going to go and see exactly how that all works out for him. Um, I think she, Luke is like giant. Like he, Luke, Luke is a giant. Like when I say that. Luke is a giant. I really mean that Luke is a giant. So he's really big anyway. He's big for 185 pounds. Like the biggest dude at 185 is Joe Romero. I don't see how he was making weight. Uh, but so then Diego Nightmare Sanchez is taking on Michael Chiesa. And so that's going to be the first fight of the main event. So that's going to be a barn burner right there. Diego Sanchez versus Michael Chiesa. They kind of fight the same kind of crazy-ass style. So we're going to see exactly what happens and all that. But, yep, that's going to be on July the 6th in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Las Vegas, Nevada. So that's going to be a pretty good fight. I can't wait to see what all goes down. All right, we're going to have more coverage over that. We're here on Fightcast. Also coming up in the more recent future, on July, on June 29th, that's going to be the last fight of June. It's going to be Francis Nigano. Oh my God, he's back? Yes. Against Junior Dos Santos. That's going to be a fucking brawl right there. Um, unless Francis drops him. Because we see Francis drop people that are really fucking good. So, uh, so like, let's so let's see exactly what happens with this. Okay, um, I don't think Dos Santos is gonna rush in. Dos Santos just got that big old chin out there, man. Um, Dos Santos does have really good boxing though, but I put Francis against any striker at a heavyweight, any striker at heavyweight. Francis is knocked out, knocked out Alistar Overeem, one of the greatest strikers at heavyweight of all time. Okay, knocked him out in the first round easily. All right, so I'll put him against any striker at heavyweight. Okay, this this is mixed martial arts, bro. It's it's gonna be like that. Um, if we go down this whole card, this whole card's pretty actually fire. Uh, Damian Maya's gonna be fighting on there uh, against uh, Rocco Martin. Uh, Damian's been on his tear, just like lighting people up in jiu-jitsu. Over forty years old, still in the UFC. Um, Joseph Benavides versus Jess Jessier Formiga. So that's gonna be a really good fight right there. Twenty-seven and five, Joseph Benavides versus Jessier Formiga. Um, Man, you know what? Jesse Jesse Formiga, I didn't know that. He's actually ranked number one at 125 pounds at flyweight. Uh, so I thought there was Joseph Benavides, but he's actually ranked number two. So crazy stuff. Crazy stuff when you think about it. Anyways, that's going to be a great card right there. No, Nigano, Francis Nigano versus Dos Anjos. That's going to be on UFC Fight Night. All right, so you'll be able to go ahead and tune into those. Um, early prelims are going to go ahead and be on ESPN+. Plus. Plus the main card is going to be on there as well, so it should be a should be some good bounce on this fine fine, bro. Should be some good bounce on there. All right, so we will keep you posted in on all this great stuff here on Fightcast. Coming back at you with the next episode. 
we want to go in. We're going to dabble a little bit more into this whole Nagani versus Junior Dos Anjos. I want to go into records. I want to go into all of that greatness. We're going to go across as well. And we're going to go ahead and talk about that Joan versus Santos matchup. I want to go into that in more detail because there's so many great bouts on there. Barn burners. All right, Hero Podcast. We'll see you guys later. It has been a pleasure. Talk to you soon.